uh, hello in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to create trace map and show the few basic rules of trace map creation uh, first of all I want to show you the trace object you can find it in create trace category usually three fire trace so at the beginning it looks like a plane and uh, here you can add some image which you want to use a trace map and here's my texture which I want to convert to trace map and if I will use it right now so here's my traced image you can see it's pretty dirty right now also there is this shutter stock word and as you can see there are, there are a lot of uh, edges which I don't need and I, I want uh, I want it to be cle clean and of, of course I can play with uh, properties like values but using image as is still won't produce results which I want so I will show you how to convert it to trace map and again I'm using very low value I have much less uh, unneeded edges but still it's not perfect so as you can see it still needs to be adjusted so I will turn it off here's this image and as you can see it's pretty dirty and I need to work with it to make it uh, appropriate for a trace object and I will use Photoshop to do this so the first thing I, what I want to do is like create duplicate just uh, have a copy of object okay and uh, now I will go to adjustment and first of all I will desaturate it uh, next step uh, I'm going to levels and start playing with levels make edges something like this okay that's better uh, next step uh, let's actually start clean all the stuff and you can use arrays Razor and it's better to use actually it's better to use pencil with white color and just uh, piece by piece you can start cleaning it removing all this lonely pixels lonely black pixels So what you need to get at the end is just a clean white uh, fragment. So you can use a race tool. Also you can use the selection with lasso. So you can just start selecting the volume of all these pixels and then just uh, hold alt uh, alt and backspace hit backspace and it will fill all this area with this white color so uh, again you can just using the lasso, select all the area you want. Make sure it's closed uh, selection. Uh, hold Alt key and hit backspace. 
In the same way you can clean all the rest of the texture. So when you are finished with uh, cleaning all these white areas, you can start with uh, making all these black edges uh, less noisy. And the first step I usually do is assign filter, blur, Gaussian blur, which makes everything a little bit smooth, uh, less noisy. Something like this. Okay, now I can set here brush tool set it to pixel 3 you have to be sure that uh, the white of your uh, black strokes no less than 3 pixels and it's better to use 3 pixels it can be more but not less and now you can start uh, start he here black color and start drawing over the areas where there are gaps like this and make them more solid so when this image will be traced there will not be gaps between these white pieces so you have to be sure that there there are no such uh, gray areas there might be gray areas but uh, they might they may be on the edges of the black strokes but not but not like like this Okay, and now uh, another trick I do so when I almost finished with this image, I can go to um, image adjustment and levels one more time and play with levels again. And as you can see, if I will drag this black arrow to the right, I will get more more black edges, uh, and uh, there will be less noise. And if I will drag this white arrow to the left, my edges will be not so big, not so thick. So what I will do, I will, I will grab this white one to the left and this black one to the right. And when I'm done, I will go to image, adjustment, I mean filters, and assign Gaussian blue one more time. Maybe it's higher value right now. Okay. So as you can see, my trace map almost finished. I can save it. And now I can add it as a trace map for my trace object. Label it. And as you can see, this time result is much better. Uh, so here is one area, and uh, this this area where these black strokes do not connect with each other, you can check it. Okay, so this is uh, here this stroke. So I can go to Photoshop and make the stroke uh, more noticeable, or I can uh, start to play with this value property here. So let's make it three, and you can see this time it's connected. Also, you see that there is uh, one uh, area where it is there connected, not so uh, good. So I can start increase it even more. Okay, now it's better. And uh, well, basically my trace image finished, and now I can start to add some shell. To this image, maybe three. Get some variation. Yeah. 
and I can start assign some shell as set. Let's assign this diffuse map. And as you can see, all this images uh, perfectly matches with this uh, original image. So when you will done you will uh, when you are done with assigning shell and a set, you can uh, pre-fragment this inner black area. Fracture, put this fracture on. It takes some time. Maybe fragment size make it less. 20 pixels. Okay. And uh, now we can go to we can open the refire tool, floater, uh, keep this object selected, go to tools, and here detach by element selected. May take some time. Okay, now our trace object is fractured and we have 1075 fragments. Uh, I will add them in this dynamic list. Just, just quickly show you how you can create some simple simulation. Next step, uh, I'm going to move them near to the ground grid go to physics okay I will click here on the little ground I will here deactivate static dynamic object and activate by force next step I will create some bomb some range put it above Add it in simulation list. Let's make it smaller than 25. Well, actually, I can start simulation. Let's see what will happen. So what we what this is the result we just got. Okay, hope I uh, hope this tutorial helped you and thank you for watching and goodbye.